Yup, it is boosted. Welcome back to this game. This game that has a lot of history with it. Uh, very, how can I put it? Questionable history of weapon changes. And by the way, this is a complete and total side note. At the time of this recording, it is Mother's Day. So, happy Mother's Day, or belated Mother's Day, to all 2% women that watch my videos. But wait a minute, I gotta go into more detail. All 2% of women that watch my videos that actually have a human child. Yeah, dog moms, cat moms, pet moms, we don't give a fuck about y'all, no, no one cares. In my opinion, you're a mother when you have a child. Of your own blood. Yeah. But let's get back into the actual game. You're probably looking at the title of it, and you're like, Jet, boy, what, what are you talking about, the ZAM76? There's not one on your back. Hold on. We're here on Fiola Continent, and we spawn, we spawn at the back of the map. Which is good, because that means that everybody's in front of us. Like, directly in front of us. Just because you can, does not mean you should. Because you can go for a container out in the open, on field content, in broad daylight, does not mean that you should go for the container in broad daylight, out in the open, on field content. Oh look, an M76. You know, now that I looked at this guy's loadout, up close and personal, he had a 93R, the Theron, the Theron Burst Pistol, and an M76. My boy, what were you trying to find in that container? You got long range, you got short range weaponry. But I will say this, a 93R, and I keep saying 93R because of Black Ops 2 Transit, and if you know, you know, and if you don't know, your childhood was trash. The freaking 93R, it can, it can work as a medium range weapon. It can, you just gotta aim a little bit higher. Some ask the question once again, what were you trying to find? I mean, I get it. If you were trying to find an A1, A1, like how I have, or a Beagle or some shit, then sure, the container's the right play. But, you kinda fucked up. You kinda did. Now, I get a bit of a forehead moment here. Notice how I put the radiation grenade on the detector. Yeah, my thought process was if someone goes for the airdrop that's back there behind the church or goes for the container which is in front of said church, they're probably going to want to stop by the detector before going over there to make sure everything's safe, right? So I denied them the opportunity by putting radiation on the, on the uh, detector. That was my thought process. And in hindsight, that's probably one of the worst things I could have done. I should have kept my grenade. I should have. Oh, a gunfight.
when others know where you are. I could talk about everything that just went down. I could. But I'm going to speak on one thing and one thing in particular. Actually, you know what? No, two things. The first and most simplest thing, there's a comm station in that house to my right. And when I seen that comm station was activated message twice in a row, oh yeah, there is a pretty high chance somebody's in that house. So I waited. And the second, slightly least simple thing, Homeboy was prone with his Spas 12. You could tell he was new. Because it doesn't matter what stance you're in, prone, crouching, or standing up, your shotgun spread is the same. And of course, the more obvious fact of he was laying down on daytime field hunting in the open in the center of the map with a shotgun. Unexpected, sure. But as soon as somebody sees you or you reveal your, reveal your own location by shooting, you're done. But guys, as quick as this was, I hope you learned something from it. I'll see you next time. Peace.